everybody how's it going so yesterday i went to go see a movie with my family and it was wonderful um i'm actually going to be doing a review on it right now um i know i've done a previous review on the movie anonymous which i went to go see with my school and that one was great and i don't normally get an opportunity to go to the theaters that often so i decided when i do get an opportunity i might as well do a review on it so i went to go see the adventures of tintin with my my family. Yes, it was a great movie. The graphics were amazing. Like, seriously, you go, you look at it, and it's like, oh my gosh, they look real. Like, these people look real. The little cartoons, it was incredible. The graphics have gone a long way since, like, Toy Story. Um, but yeah, it was great. I loved all the transitions in the movies. There's this one part where they go from, they're in, like, the Sahara Desert, and you see all of the the sand and like the hills in the sand and then all of a sudden this boat kind of pops up out of the sand and starts moving and all of a sudden the sand turns to waves oh my gosh that was incredible and then they use i can't remember if it's a glass or no it's like a looking glass you know like like pirates they use the very end of it and they like zoom in and it becomes an entire scene and it's just incredible so the entire movie is basically based on this boy named Tintin who I actually thought was like 10 years old but apparently he's not he's like 25 he has his own apartment and a little dog Snowy which is this little white pup I'm not exactly sure what breed of dog it is but he's adorable um so yeah and basically they solve mysteries together like Inspector Gadget but he doesn't have all the gadgets um and yeah, then as the story turns out, it turns into almost like a national treasure type movie where they're searching for this treasure and it's it's very interesting. And then at certain parts, they're fighting these pirates and it almost seems like it's a Pirates of the Caribbean movie and it was, it was interesting to say the least. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. And some of the main characters, um, you'll see Captain Haddock, like the fish. Um, he resembles one of my childhood friends and... My, none of my family saw that, but I think he did. And then the bad guy, who I can't even remember what his name is, it totally escapes me. Um, he looks like Robin Williams. He has, like, this beard that goes down that's, like, pointy, except for the beard. Yeah, like, the beard, no. Nah. But, like, his facial features and the way that it's shaped, it looks like Robin Williams. It is so crazy. I'm not sure if you see it. If you see the resemblance, please tell me. Let me know what you think. Anyways, the movie is wonderful. I really want you guys to go see it. If you're not into that sort of thing, then don't go see it at all. I totally understand. And, um, I look forward to doing some more reviews in the future. So please tell me what you think. I'll put a link down below um, to either a trailer or to the IMDb website. Maybe if I can find the trailer from like the trailers YouTube channel, I'll put like a little annotation right here if I do find it. If I can't, well then I, I do apologize. But I, I will put some form of a link down below. So look and check that out. Um, and I wonder if there's going to be a second movie. I mean, the new one. This one has just been released. But it would be interesting to go see a second one. I'd, I'd go see it. So anyways, thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.